Prophet Ronald Dwayne Whitfield recording on Sunday, May 13th of 2018. Hey, Miss Proud. Hey, Miss Proud. Um, my question before I can. Message, you called me yesterday to say this Mr. Sprout. Right. Hey, Mr. Whitfield. Hey. So I just got your message. You called me yesterday to say this Mr. Sprout. Hey, Miss Proud. Hey, Miss Proud. Um, my question before I can. Can you begin to understand what's going on? Yeah. You know, you don't come to court. I, Miss Sprout, when I talked to you last time, um, you know, and I, I asked you, I said, why did that judge have me put out the court? But you can just still come back the next time. Every court has subject matter jurisdiction. That doesn't mean that the police first. That was just way back in the emergency That was an emergency room, Miss Sprout. Okay, well, the show called one of the other. Miss Sprout, that was the first hearing, a very important hearing, is that initial hearing. You know what that is, don't you? Yeah. That initial hearing is for what purpose? It's determined that it calls the kid you kid. And it also determines what they put in your house without a warrant. Well, I don't think they, they, they had a warrant for you. No, 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 they didn't have a warrant. They didn't have an emergency. And if anyone had read the affidavit, and when you look at the court of appeals who have set out affidavits in other courts about the fact that last time you called here, you and my assistant don't talk to you. But if you want another lawyer, uh, I'm going to call and withdraw. Yes, yes. I'm going to call and file my motion to withdraw today and let you get somebody else. But you didn't want a lawyer from the beginning. And so that means you that said I, you was you said you was gonna represent yourself. But he but and what did he do? He appointed you a lawyer, but he just told me to stand by on the side of it in case you had any questions. Like I told him I didn't represent him I, No, because I challenged you okay, Mr. Sprout, you mean because something right. When a person challenges a plea to jurisdiction, which is what I the first thing plead is instead of following what they call an answer. My answer. What, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you could have filed the hearing you wanted to file. You were still representing yourself. Okay, but Mr. Sprout, you were trying to file it. Yes. You wanted to do in case you had any legal questions you wanted to ask. I didn't need I'm any legal questions. No, I didn't need any legal questions. What I need was. If, if you don't do that, I'll just file and withdraw it. You can go on and represent yourself. You but Mr. Sprout, this is what I'm you trying to do. You can't be afraid to come to court. Hold on, Mr. Sprout. Let me get it out, please. What I'm saying is. Yeah, you can't be afraid to come to court. I'm not. It's not. It's not. It's not. No, he, he, he never had authority to put me out. But he no, but you, but you had the right to come back to each and every hearing, and you haven't been in here. No, it's because that if you go on YouTube, what did the bailiff say? I know, I know, I know. I haven't got to say, but well, the bailiff can't keep you from coming. But he put me out because he said that I was just that one day. No, he said I was held in contempt. Yeah, you wouldn't have it. But that's what he... I'm trying to serve you with a document telling you... But Mr. Sprouts, you're not getting... You're not, and Mr. Sprouts, you're not naive or green, are you, sir? I'm, I'm just saying somebody would have had to serve you with a document. Okay, then, then so therefore, that. but you start a judge... They didn't give you nothing like that. I was there. They didn't give you no paper. Exactly, exactly. So that was what they call a Ford uh, uh, adversary hearing, right? Right. And I got put out and never got to speak, right? Never had an opportunity to be heard, right? Well, you didn't wait your turn to be so speak, yeah. What? Well, well no, there's not a such thing. When I challenge jurisdiction, you can't even go any further. Yeah. And then well, what? Like, but, 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 but I, I got a good idea of a switch up today. Before the 5 o'clock, I'm going to file a motion for withdrawal, set it for hearing, and, and get off your case and let you try to do it yourself. But you don't want to listen to nobody. No, no, this is problem. This is all I'm saying. You don't want to listen to No, no, I'm seeing my phone recording. I don't want to let you. Hold on. I didn't hear it. No, but you, what, what, what I'm trying to do is correct. Hold on, Mr. Brown. All I'm trying to do is say this. The first thing I've been trying to do, and I have a right to do, he can't get it. Once I plead the jurisdiction and, and I record him telling him you don't have a person jurisdiction, the, every court, has, yes, that court has subject matter jurisdiction. That doesn't mean that the police referred that upon the court. And it doesn't mean that the court had jur general jurisdiction. But in any event, the first thing we got to talk about is the Fourth Amendment. Yeah, well, Mr. 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 Whitfield, I'm going to let you handle that part. You, you, you seem like you're pretty impressed to the law, so I'm going to let you represent yourself. But you can't do it from 
the internet or by the phone. You have to appear in court. Mm -hmm. Not I'm see, not you. Me, I'm not asking for advice. Okay, okay. let me just say this, then I won't be you. You go to police for the most, but I just got to get in the rocket. When I when the bailiff that's that's the three bailiffs, my phone boy he's a bailiff in that courtroom. He made his yeah, story hit my bailiff. Yeah. When the bailiff tell me you been held in contempt and he is acting under the direction of that judge, you better not have to tell him what I'm doing. No, judge, I don't want your shit. You instruct me. Y'all went in chambers. When the man he tries to speak to try to get his bitch out, I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm just no. saying the judge ain't look, man. He ain't finna jump to the uh, uh, full uh, adversary here when he first got to do a, uh, uh, what they call an admission hearing. Because at the admission hearing, I got my private cause on because I made him take me to jail. We don't want bitch. You gonna take me to jail tonight? Two, you went in my house without a warrant. Two, you don't have no mercy. You don't got no probable cause. You don't have no exigent. And it's all over you two. I'm just. And you know what they say? They 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 took my child. Not because my child was in any danger of uh, his health safety, but because of a motherfucking concern? Where your concern come from? That's not a ground for violating the Fourth Amendment. And you can tell me this judge never held the hearing. He never Mr. Whitfield, Mr. Whitfield. Yes. I'm gonna withdraw today. And I'm gonna let you represent yourself solely on your now, own. Well, yeah, once we get this judge, once we get it, that wouldn't you contribute to this campaign no more. You have to come to court. No, I can't go there. I can't go to court. You want to stop it? He stopped me. He stopped me. He stopped me. You come and you're gonna have to abide by the rules. I ain't you, Mrs. Brown. You know what the administrative rules are. Stop oh. talking whenever you want to talk. Wait a minute. That's what the law says. The law says it's your duty. You, the law says you can interrupt a judge if he is violating your client's right. That's the only time you can interrupt him. That's what the administrative judicial rule. They must say, I'm a damn fool. That law says you will going to interrupt the judge if he's violating your client's right. I'm going, if he's violating the law, excuse me, uh, objection, Your Honor, this court has no jurisdiction. That's why he, I got to get the administrative code. You know, the Supreme Court of Texas, they are uh, by statute, Texas Government Code Section 74.024, authorized the, the, the Supreme Court, not the Court of Criminal Appeals, to promulgate the rules of the court administration. What I'm just saying is, okay, though, get to the record, though. That's fine. That's fine, but that's why he got interrupted. You, you, I'm, I'm going to let you do it the way you want to do it. I'm going to let you do it the way you want to do it. Let me know when I get when 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 the motion be filed has been actually filed, it's be filed today. and presented. So but you know it also has to be presented. You know, on the tape. three days it's gonna be set for a hearing on the ninth, and the judge gonna rule on it, grant it, and let me out of your case, and then. At that point, you're on your own. I've been on my own because I never accepted an attorney. He's got to know. He's got to show cause. And, that, and, that, and that's why you're going to be back where you were. No, I didn't know when I've been back where I was. That's when we put this page back on at May 8th. That's I wish you the best of luck with it. Thank you, Mr. Cross. Now, I've been once before I go. I wouldn't yeah. contribute anymore to his campaign because yeah. you know what this, when they already filed against him for all this contribution, y'all keep to this corrupt job. Give him not another time. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. That was Oliver Sproul Jr. It was a struggle to speak with him. Very much a struggle. He, needless to say, took the position that I should not be scared or should not have been afraid, as he put it, to return to court. And so... I think Mr. Sprout was both green, naive, and uh, you know, as we say on the street, trying to run game on me. The hearing about which he speak, uh, spoke was it was the uh, show cause hearing. The very first hearing in the process is called an initial hearing. And that hearing is so, so very important. Had that hearing been held, 
I would have gotten my child back. I had my videos, I had my phone, and you know, there's a court order from a criminal county at law judge that uh, found no probable cause for my to be arrested, for my detention, and further detention, and ordered me released. So I simply wanted to come to court and show the judge that uh, CPS had no uh, lawful authority to enter the home, to remove the child, and to arrest me. And because they knew that, because they knew that, they never held that hearing. And because he didn't hold that hearing, and yet um, signed what they call an emergency order, and the order therein, it states that the petition to terminate our parental child uh, rights uh, was presented by Paul Gonzalez with the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services. And when, in fact, no such hearing was held, no such petition was presented to the court or judge. On May 8th of 2017. And yet he signed orders. And an FBI agent agrees to. Stating that so he lied. And so that agent. Uh, two Fridays ago. From May 13th of 2018. Called my mom. Um, I told him about the affidavit that she had signed. And so Brandon and I were going to go over to the FBI. We're going to conduct our food and water strike is to uh, generate publicity.